Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I'm gonna show you how I turn my dining room into a sitting room. Um, it's it by no means finished, but it's on its way. We have a good start. Here's the base. So this used to be my dining room. As you all know, I switched swapped, which I love doing that. Make your spaces fit you. Just because they have this slighted for a dining room doesn't mean it needs to stay a dining room. I'm going to be moving as I'm talking just so you can see everything. And then I'll kind of walk through everything. Now, this is what I like to call like the bones, okay? And then I'm going to come back through and add more layers as we go. That's the beauty of decorating. You're never really done. But as you can see, this isn't a really big space. It's right off my entry. Um, so as soon as you come in, okay guys, Coco's going to be coming in and out as always, my Coco disclaimer. Um, <clears throat> it's right off my entry. So what I did, first of all, I used all these things are all things that I have. I only brought one new thing for this room, um, just so it could feel more cozy. I really want this room to be cozy. If this was our permanent house, I would have painted this room a nice dark color. But I am still thinking about doing some kind of wall treatment on that back wall um, just to make it even cozier. I even am thinking about maybe doing like bookcases here, like completely changing things around and doing bookcases on either side if I get a new uh, couch set. But this is my old sectional that I used to have in my old house. Uh, here's Coco. This is where she likes to sit. So thanks, Coco, for messing up my video. But... Um, <laughs> She matches the couch at least. <laughs> um, I just broke it apart. So I took away like two or three pieces that's in it. This is all that I have left now at this house. So it's what I'm using. So I just brought it in here. Um, I added some nice pillows to it. Um, added a couple big fluffy throw pillows. Um, my same painting that I love, but no one else does. <laughs> I love my painting. It's really big. It doesn't look that big on camera, but it's a really good substantial piece. And all the colors that's in that I love, I really want to pull out. So I'm thinking about doing some kind of like grass cloth back here, like a tan or brown almost, taupey color. I don't know. Just to bring in some warmth. So I got these little curtains just from my local Walmart because they were on sale. And again, it brings in some warmed so the things that i added that i bought was the curtains and then i went onto facebook marketplace and i brought this really nice um fireplace so you know these fireplaces you see them everywhere i went onto my facebook marketplace i paid 50 dollars for it went and picked it up i painted it it was like a pine color um i had a few scratches on the top but that's fine i used paint i already had so i didn't even need to buy paint and the good thing about this is it's an actual heater, which we need down here in the wintertime um, because it's hot upstairs and cold. You know how, how it is. Um, <clears throat> so it'll really cozy up this whole area when you first come in. But I also like in the evening, it's, it can be just the light. So like right now I have on just the light because it's summertime, obviously we don't need the heat. But it gives me that cozy vibe, especially at night. Uh, I might do a night video so you can see okay so these are all things i already had too if you've been with me for a while you know i used to have these in my dining room at my old house i didn't have anywhere for them here and here they are i'm thinking about putting some rub and buff on it to kind of change it to match this like antique gold but then again i like that kind of gold too um and i mean i just like the really clean crisp look of that and i think these are far enough apart that it's okay i don't know um, and I'm thinking about changing out these light fixtures for uh, wall sconces. Um, those little candle things for like actual wall sconces. I think that'll be really nice on that wall. Um, but anyway, so this room has really nice high crown moldings. And so I didn't need to do much. Again, it's a small room. I put a section of the section over here, threw a cloth over it. Um, we'll just go in a little closer. Um, this is just a good well find that I've had for a while. I've painted it. I've moved it all around. <laughs> and now it's here. This is a marble base that I got. Um, it's just something I picked up from Goodwill for 50 cents a while back. And I'm just using it as a base for this planter. Just keeping things crisp and clean. I, I'm going to love decorating this for Christmas. 
Now, if you can't tell, it is not that deep. So it's not a lot of decorating surface, but it gives me a, a nice surface that I can decorate for Christmas. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick video to show you. This is my front window, okay? And then I add, put this tree over here I've had for a while. All of this, the tree and the basket all came from a Goodwill over, you know, at, at different times, but I just put them together just to add up some space, to take up some space right here. This is a Ross rug I've had for a while. And then these big bump pillows are just so people can flop around, chill out, lay down, because again, it's not that much space. If you look at the, the, the floor here, it's not that much space. So I don't want to add um, like a coffee table or anything. It's not that much space to add a coffee table, but people can sit on a bump if they want, you know, or you can move it and put your feet on it. So you can prop your feet up on it because they're pretty high up. And I got those from a thrift store as well. They're really big. But yeah, and I have a little side table over there just so you can place a drink. So yeah, this is the beginning. As I uh, get more things, add more to it. But so this is how it looks now. So I encourage you to, you know, let's live in our homes. If you know your family doesn't utilize the dining room, you don't have to have an empty room you don't use. We get way more use out of this room being a sitting room than, than when it was a dining room. We just walk past it, use it as a dumping ground when it was a dining room. But it as a sitting room, first of all, as you can see, Coco loves it. It's where she sits all day and bird watches and people watch. Because as I've said before, you can see we live right on the corner. And everybody comes in and out of this corner. <laughs> this is the way in and out of our neighborhood. So we're, we're a sidewalk community. You can see the sidewalk right there. So everyone comes past our house with a house on the corner. So our yard goes all the way around. And so everyone goes past here. <laughs> we're the house on the corner. So so uh, my husband's getting ready to light everything up outside. It's going to be beautiful. Um the house on the corner the big lit house on the corner <laughs> so um like i said people come right in this front door so i really wanted it to feel welcoming other than just a pretty dining table that no one uses and we actually use the dining table way more being in the back of the house than we did when it was up here in the front it just became a dumping zone so now there's nowhere for no table for people to dump on you know, I've added hooks here. Um, I found a whole bunch of these hooks, with all well, three sets, um, at a local um, Goodwill. Like I can show you, they're like gold. So we put our keys and things on there. I got some other ones for coats. Um, so that's at the entrance. I'm standing at my front door right here. But yeah, I mean, that way is the living room. And Here's my little sitting room. Through there is the kitchen. But I think it's great. And I think it's going to flow really well when we have people over. And I'm actually not mad. My husband moved the chandelier up for me. Um, so people aren't bumping their heads under it. And I actually like it there. It looks like a nice centerpiece. Um, so, yeah, at nighttime, it's so, so cozy. But I'm thinking, yeah, but I'm thinking about doing an accent wall here. I don't know if I want to do, like, more crown molding, you know, the pill and stick crown molding that you could buy. I thought that would be nice, like, do some kind of wall treatment or do a uh, pill and stick wallpaper, which y'all know I love. All right, coming up next, guys, my next video will be uh, a laundry room refresh. I refreshed my laundry room with Dollar Tree items. It turned out so precious. I absolutely love it. Okay, guys, I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Y'all be blessed. Stay positive. See you next time. Say bye, Coco. Coco, you gonna say bye? You wanna say bye? <laughs> bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.